Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys obviously how to get this look here, but I'm also gonna show you guys like how it can be wearable. I know it seems like a lot, especially for me. Like you guys know I do a lot of natural makeup. If you guys are new here, hey, what's up? I'm Amy, I do a lot of dewy natural kind of makeup looks, but I do get inspired by makeup and how it can complement fashion. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can like balance it by you know, what kind of hairstyles you can do and what kind of wardrobe you can pair with this look as well. But first, let's get started on this makeup look. Let's dab at it. I just wanna start by priming my face with this No Pore Blem. I'm just putting it here so I get a really nice, smooth base. So now I'm gonna take the YSL Touche Eclat. This is the Radiance Awakening Foundation and I'm just gonna Start by, I always like do this, like do streaks across my face, like as if I'm going to blend it out with my fingers, but then I perfect it with a sponge, so I'm going to put a little bit more. It's not full coverage, but definitely buildable. I think if I put more, it would be 100% like full coverage, but it's not as matte as like their all hours foundation. For concealer, I'm going to use the Shape Tape. By Tarte and because this is more of like a nighttime look I like to use heavier concealer so I'm just kind of placing it like that and drag it down that looks like so much but it really isn't that much I don't like to go in with too much product especially under my eye because I tend to be really dry under there but what's nice about this one is that it does set itself it doesn't get too creasy so we're just brightening up under there like makes such a difference concealer I used to never wear concealer like I barely started using concealer when I started my like YouTube channel I felt like I had to because everybody else was and then I understood why everybody uses concealer <laughs> to be honest I'm just gonna put a little of the excess here which is not really much on the sponge but So before I set that with powder, I do want to use some cream bronzer. It's milk and, oops, my sideburns are getting the way. And I'm just going to buff that out with this brush. Oh, this bug bite is so bad. Like, why did it have to get my face? It's so rude. Concealer. This one is by Neutrogena. And it's really hydrating and feels good. I love this concealer. Feather that out with this brush. And I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier. Uh, look how cute. They like custom made this. If you guys caught my blog, I went to a Laura Mercier party not too long ago and they gave me a custom powder. I love it. And just set all of this, all these creamy products. So for my eye Rizzles. I'm just gonna brush them up first. They are like looking really, really bad. I think I wanna tell, like, next time I get them done, I think I'm gonna ask them to go a little bit thinner. I know, don't tell me no, but I feel like it's too much. It's like it's eating up my face. So now I'm gonna use this Benefit Cub Brow. I feel like I never cause any dents, and I use this one so much. So I'm going to use this Gimme Brow by Benefit. It's like a little tiniest sample. This is in the shade 5. Run a little bit of that through my eyebrows. So I already used the Milk Cream Bronzer, obviously, but I like to set it as well with a powder bronzer. This one is the Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder Bronzer. Love. I'm going to take this product here by MAC. This is in the shade Crystal Avalanche and it's like a very white, white, white shadow. And I'm going to start here at the inner corner and just press it out. I had bought this shadow a while ago because I wanted to kind of mimic this look that Kendall Jenner did a while. I mean, it was so long ago way before I had a YouTube channel, like way, way, way before. And I just went to MAC, they did my makeup like Kendall Jenner, and I went to Disneyland. It just super, like, makes your eyes pop, and then once we put a mascara, it'll look less 
scary. So I'm going to take this palette by Catrice and I'm going to use, they have this color here that's called light and it has more of a sheen like light reflecting particles. Tap out the excess. I mean the MAC one has a little bit of a pearlized finish but this one has more and I really want it to be like like a sheen. I'm going to take the bronzer, again this Victoria Beckham bronzer, and just kind of use it as shadow for underneath and then also just in my crease so it has a little bit of depth to it. And then also along the lash line. And I always take like a fluffy brush and just make sure everything's blended. I go like that with my fingers, it helps as well. So that is all for eyes, so I wanted to keep it really, really simple. I'm going to add just a top coat of mascara. I'm going to use this one by Catrice, and I'm just going to use it on my top lashes. Like, I want it to look kind of naked. I feel like it looks a little more chic that way, rather than, like, fully going all out, because we are going to have a really deep, deep, dark lip. And that is it for the eye. I know, super, super simple, but I think it's such a pretty look. It definitely opens up your eye. I feel like it's still a surprise because it's so, so white there that it's different from like a natural kind of look. So for lips, I have two here I picked up recently at Target. They are both by Maybelline, I want to say. Yeah, both by Maybelline. One is matte and one is glossy. So I don't know. I'm going to see what I like best. So first I'm going to start with the matte one. If I feel like I need a gloss then, obviously I can just add the gloss over top and it, it both of them are in like this berry shade, so very vampy. I love that. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Ooh, that is so dark, like in a good way. I like this collection. I have a red one that's so nice too and it stays all day. Sorry. Oh, I think I love it matte because it's these ones aren't like soul sucking mattes, you know what I mean by that? Sometimes matte lipstick sucks the life out of everything. And this one is still very comfortable. The red one that I have it's so pretty and it stays all day. Like I went to dinner with it stayed out and I it like lasted. I didn't have to touch it up. Oh fuck. I'm like the worst when it comes to dark lipsticks. For blush, I'm gonna use this one. It's called Birthday Suit by ColourPop. I haven't used it in so so long so let's see if it even has any pigment. I just kind of want like a nudie pink more nude than anything and I like I think this color is pretty genius for what I want just trying to give myself some life because once you slap on a dark color you get a little bit washed out you know so that's why your brows I feel like have to be really on point and then also you need some life here this looks a little bit more like editorial like I couldn't imagine having a ton of eyeshadow with this look that's why this is like just enough and it's still kind of like fashion forward or so I think so I'm gonna use this essence pure nude highlighter this is such a beautiful highlighter I'm just gonna put that there and I just kind of tap that into my skin it's one of my favorite powder highlights. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier one, which is like my favorite powder highlight. It doesn't show like texture. I get a lot of texture on like, you guys can see I have a pimple there. If it's not a cream highlighter, it's a powder highlighter that has that wet look. It does definitely show so much texture. I mean, I still use them because I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to like not use them, but you know, I care for certain looks and <laughs> some I don't, so. I don't know if I'm going to regret this. Sometimes I regret putting highlight here when I have a dark lipstick. 
If you guys have lip liner, now is the time to use it. I hate lip liner. I don't know why, but just never. And then you can just take a brush and just like make sure everything is blended, diffused. So I'm just going to take some Fix Plus. So for hair, I'm going to show you guys what I use to really sleek out my hair. I think this look is really cool when you have really clean, like sleek hair. So that's what I want to do. And, or you know what would be really cool too is if you slick it back. Like if you have straight or like your roots are straight, sleek it back like with that wet hair look. Ugh, I think it would be so fashion and just so cool. But my hair is like really curly at the root so I can't do that right now. And I want to have like this like deeper part. If you can go deeper than me, I feel like this is as deep as I go and then I start looking really crazy. So I already parted my hair. I like to use this one. This is the Edge Control by Carol's Daughter. And I really love this one on dry hair. Another really great one that I love as well is the Way Pomade. But that one I like to use on my ends just to kind of like make it PC when my hair is dry or when it's wet to calm it down because it is a matte pomade. And then this one has more of a wet shine to it. You see how it gives that shine? The Way one is matte so it doesn't give me that much shine. But it's perfect for when my hair is wet, if I'm making any sense. You guys follow me? Then I use this like hard bristle brush. I'm not going to show you guys this up close because... It is so gross, but this is just by Conair. And I just make sure to flatten everything out. So now I'm gonna get dressed. Ooh, money, money, money. Do you guys believe in that too? So I also added a little bit of the Way hair oil just at the end so that it looks, you know, shiny all the way through. It doesn't look dry. I just really, really want like a high shine look it's just like a nice contrast against like my matte kind of face so i ended up pairing it with this i love high necks and sleek hair together i feel like they are the best combo or like this makeup would look really really nice with a high high sleek back ponytail um, you can even add like an extension to make it look longer, your ponytail. And I also think that silvers and gray look really nice with this kind of makeup or black. But if you're doing black, I would say do maybe something sheer and see-through or something that's a little bit more low cut. That way like the black and the black isn't so like gothic if that's, you know, that not the look that you're trying to go for. We're trying to be a little more chic and fashion-y and like runway with it being wearable runway though. Another really great color to wear this makeup look with I think is white or if you do a lot of florals, like kind of mix and match it. I feel like this makeup is really streamlined and sleek, so obviously clean lines would look great with this, like in white, black, gray, but also I think if you kind of mix and match it, like this makeup look is a little unexpected. If you do something like very frilly and floral, like this looks really great together as well. This is not for like a, ooh, I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. You gotta own it. Mm. It's really not that much makeup. It's just a bold lip. Own it. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, again, I feel like it can be a very wearable look. It's all in the balance of how you guys put it all together. So I hope these tips helped you out. That way you feel very confident to rock something that maybe you were like unsure about. But yeah, definitely attitude is everything, you guys. Even if you're freaking cat eye or if your lipstick is smudgy just own it and people will be fooled i swear <laughs> anyways that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in my next video subscribe if you haven't already what are you waiting for subscribe it's right here right here <laughs> bye guys I'm actually super curious about the lip gloss now because i haven't used this one yet so, I wanted to show you guys what the gloss would be like on top. Mmm. It's literally the perfect match. And these ones, because I own another one of these. Um, these are the Vivid 
hot lacquers and they are so pigmented so I know this would be even great without this first layer of the matte lip if you're more into the glossy look I'm getting like 90s vibe, like Givenchy vibes for some reason, or I don't know. I mean, I'm getting a little like, like let me see. If you... you see that? So exfoliate your lips before you use this lip gloss. On flaky lips, it, does, it definitely feels a little bit weird. 